Alrighty then. Okay, so now uh, let's create, let's go to a main page here. I think I deleted too many uh, products there. Yeah, that's what happened there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to our account here. And this is the account right here. So I want to be able to see the order that I created here. Okay, whatever I ordered, I have to be able to see it here. So all we need to do is create a table of orders. Okay, so let's do that real quick, shall we? So let's go to our views. Let me uh, minimize the admin section because we are not dealing with the admin section. Let me close all these other files. What I'm looking for is profile.php in the views, yes? And this is the content of profile.php, which looks like this. So I just want to put a table here of what I ordered. Okay. So in order to, um, to create, to get those orders, uh, there's an order class here. So let's add something in there to, to help us to get orders, shall we? So there's one function in there. So let's create one more function after that one. So I will zoom in here and it's going to be a public function. I'll say get orders like so. Okay, get orders. Now we need to know what orders we need to get. Um, we're going to use a user ID so that we know who whose orders we are getting here. Now, sometimes we want to get all the orders here. And so we need to have that option. So this one is get orders uh, get orders by user. That's more explanatory. Yeah, get orders by user like this. Yeah. Okay. So all we need is a query and a result. So copy that, put it here. And not only that, we also need the DB instance there. So copy that. Okay, so there we go. So DB database new instance and then query. Now let's see what query we need here. Okay. All right, so here we go. So we have a list of orders here and there's this table there. And there's another list of orders here. Okay. So there's a relationship of one to many. Now, so instead of us doing a join where we read both these uh, orders table and order details, the problem is uh, there are more rows here per user than the other side, so it wouldn't work well with a join. So what we will do is do two queries. We're going to query the orders themselves, and then we're going to query each detail of the order individually. So here, how do we know uh, who these orders belong to? So we needed a user URL here for us to be able to know what's happening. But we don't have that. We just have a session ID, okay? So of course, um, if you're going to have user accounts, if you want your users to be able to see what they ordered, then they have to be logged in. So we're going to enforce that feature. Once we are done with this, we're going to enforce that feature to make sure that uh, people have to log in before they can complete an order. But if you don't want people to log in before they complete their order, then this section right here is pointless because they won't have an account anyway. The only thing is that on the other side, in the admin section, you will be able to see a list of orders right here. So regardless whether they were logged in or not, you'll be able to see their orders because you will have their details. You can ask for their phone number, 
you can ask for their email. That way, at least you can email them the details that they need, or you can call them in order to find out more about them. But we're going to emphasize on the one where the users are actually signed up. Okay. So in order to do that, in order to be able to read, we need this user URL right here. So how do we get the user URL? So user URL should be here where we are creating the order, which is this save order right there. Okay. So the post contains yeah actually the user url comes in right there so let me just copy that actually we did include it here didn't we user url right there and then user url right there okay so pretty good so what i want to do now is create a few orders where i actually have a user url here so i'm going to empty this table by going to operations and then i will empty the table by truncating it truncate right then order details as well now the the reason i like to use truncate instead of just delete is because it will reset the index as well to zero all right so no more orders here so let's try and make our own orders so that we can uh do something so add let me go back shopping let me add this one. I want as many items as possible. And then let me add this one again. Let me add a few. Um, what is that? Quantities, so to say. Mm -hmm. Like so. Okay, then let's go to the checkout, shall we? So at the checkout here, uh, let's say my address in town also let's just say uh, hometown zip code 1021 country uh, let me choose that one in northern then home phone number i don't really know how many digits are supposed to be on the phone number These are the checks that you can do when you are uh, when you are validating this data. So you can do all kinds of checks. Okay, there we go. And then uh, these are some notes. Now we did create the error uh, validation thing, but we haven't styled it yet, which we are going to do very soon. So don't worry about that. So let's hit pay, shall we? So pay. Okay, so once we pay, obviously it's supposed to take us to a better page than this one. But for now, this is enough. So let's click orders, order details, and we have nothing. So why is that? So let me refresh the page, resend, and I get nothing. Okay, so clearly we have a problem somewhere. So let me come back here to order class. Maybe because I hadn't saved it, was I doing something useful there? No, nothing. Okay, so we are back to square one, yeah? So inside save order, let's come down here and see where the problem could be. So probably this somewhere didn't work out. So what I want to do here is just to echo something out. Echo, oh, oops, sorry. I'll say show uh, rows like that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my core functions? Okay, we are good. Okay, so I wanted to show what is inside the rows. So let's refresh, let's go. 
All right, so I get nothing there as well. So what is going on? Let's come up here, save order, paste that there. Let me put die maybe, so that we make sure we are not refreshed in any way. Okay, so there we go. So we do have things over there. So let's move this baby. Oh, this is where the problem is, right. Because I did put a return here. This is where the issue is. Last time I put a return here and completely forgot. So remove that return there. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. Now refresh and let's go. Okay, so let's see if we have some data, which we do. Very nice, even in orders. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, yeah, that's one order right there. Let's create another order. I'm just going to repeat myself. Send. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. So now at least we have a user URL here, which is cool. Now we can use that in the uh, account, shall we? Uh -huh. So let me come back here for a second and let's go to profile.php. Oh, order class actually. Let's come down here where we want to create get orders by user. All right, so I'm going to say orders is equal to false. And then right at the end, I'll say return orders like that. Okay. And now all we have to do, let's go back to our table is to check if the user URL matches ours, and then we return all of those orders that have our user URL. Also, what we can check for is the session ID, okay? Just in case, uh, but I think it's not necessary if we are not logged in anyway. All right, so here we go. I'm going to say select all, from orders and delete mm -hmm. where user URL is equal to, you guessed it, user URL. But uh, let's use our, let's use our prepared statements, of course. It's always good to avoid uh, being hacked and then data here will be equal to so instead of user id it's user underscore url here uh -huh. and so i'm just going to say data user url is equal to user url okay that's all we need for us here select all from orders yeah so if you want to limit how many can be returned, we can put a limit. So let's put 100 for now. And then uh, let's check out the result. So we're going to say if is array result. If that is an array, let's return the orders. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, mm, we don't even need to do all this. Nope, sir, we do not. All I need to do is grab that and put it here and then return orders. And then this one should be read. Mm -hmm. Okay, so get orders by user. And then we should have one more function for getting all the orders. So get all orders like that. And then we don't need any of this in here. And we don't even need a where clause here. 
we just need select all from orders and we can leave that limit which we're going to edit later on once we start using pagination okay so select all from orders and yeah that's about it really and i don't need this here because it doesn't exist anymore so we are going to go like so get all orders get orders by user all right so here what i need now is if i go to my profile.php i just need to read that data which uh, if i go to my profile controller which is right here all i need to do is load the model so i'm going to load that model let me close my core there so the model is order class yes order and i will do the same here I will say order with a capital O. So just remember that if you use a capital O here, you have to use that when you are referring to it. So copy. And now I can retrieve my data. So I will say um, let me use one and say orders is equal to order get um, I say uh, get orders by user. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we have the user data right there. Check login, user data. So let's punch in that here user data. And let's use user underscore URL. Okay, and then now we have to add it to data here so that we can transfer it to the view. So from here, I will say orders is equal to orders. Yeah. Hopefully that's not confusing at all. We just loaded our order class and then we just told it to get this user's orders and supply them to the view through there. Mm -hmm. So let's come down here and uh, let's do a peep to see if we have any result. So I'm just going to say show. I'll use my PHP tags, of course, and say show orders. Yeah, and close that. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. So let's come back here to the profile and refresh. Ooh, an error. Interesting. Cannot use object of type class as array. Mm, who knew? So perfect, uh, this is happening on the profile.php uh, line 16. So let's check what's going on here. Profile.php, which is the class. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the controller or what? Yes, it's inside controllers. So number 16 here. Mm -hmm. So it's complaining about this part right there. So not to worry, we are going to use the arrow. I just keep forgetting that uh, we are using objects in our case. I'm used to arrays. Okay, so undefined property user URL. So that is undefined. But why is it undefined? If I go to users here and it's URL address, yes? Hmm. So my bad, my bad. All right, so looking good. Let's see what we've got now. Refresh. And what do you know? We have stuff here, okay? Which we can add here to the table. Interesting, isn't it? All right, so let's do that in the next video.